like, comment and subscribe. I tested nine gadgets that think different by Mr. Who's the Boss. Let's see what this means. Because I, I mean, I've never seen anything like it. This is a bike helmet with a twist. You wear it around your neck, and if you ever have a dramatic fall, this thing can detect your motion, and it apparently inflates a full-on airbag around your head. motion. <laughs> this is a bike helmet with a twist. You wear it around your neck, and if you ever have a dramatic fall, this thing can detect your motion, and it apparently inflates a full-on airbag around your head. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> That doesn't it mean so And it's apparently eight times more effective than a traditional bike Is helmet. It? I've got eight. Really? That doesn't seem right. Or at least that just makes it look like actual bike helmets are fucking useless. If, if an airbag that looks like it deploys way too late is somehow better than that. Eight more gadgets in front of me, and in the exact same way, each of them takes something normal, but does it in a way that you would never expect. So for example, this is the $300 Belmuda toaster, and it toasts your bread using water. No, this is what? not a TikTok life app gone wrong. This Sorry, is then. genius. So it should just be a case of popping the Doesn't bread inside, adding the water with this adorable little what? cup, choosing the type of bread that I'm toasting, and then setting the timer. Oh, this is satisfying. Very pleasant bit of engineering. The toaster is then going to boil that water, thing. turn it into steam, and pass that steam over our bread. The steam yeah. then forms like that, a, a layer of moisture around that, it. Does, because moisture heats up faster than air, this can very quickly toast the bread's surface, forming a crispy layer, yeah, leaving yeah. the inside protected and fluffy. I can't wait to taste this when it's done. And while we wait for it, next up in this almost sci-fi looking package is a keyboard. And you might be thinking, um, no it isn't. A Where are the key? keys? Like right here, my friend. What? The makers of this product, the tap strap, really? basically realised that by adding an accelerometer to every one of your fingers, they really? can detect the position of them and therefore what you would have wanted to type without even needing to hit an actual key. So I can write my video uh. scripts like this, I can write them like this, I can write them like this! You'll notice a little optical sensor right here. So, so, to so, so just by moving your thumb along the surface, you are moving your cursor. And then the okay. cherry on top, if I finger gun my iPad, I promise you, this is not a joke, the tap strap will realise that I wanted to become a pointer, it will switch the sensors huh. that it's using to measure movement, huh. and you can now gesture control it. That the is, only problem is, is that this is literally like learning another language. Like if I want to type oh, a yeah. E, that's one tap oh, of my index it. finger. If I want to type a U, that's one tap of my little finger. If I want to type a minus, that's two taps you of have four of my fingers. And then if I want to start typing special characters, type. the whole hand gets involved. It does have the potential to be a game changer, but me personally, I'm not looking forward to learning 200 new gestures today. But we can yeah, get right. crazier. So, when I say the word glass to you, what do you think of? A glass shattering? Someone knocking over a glass and it making a mess everywhere? Probably something along those lines. We actually broke the glass and glass at home. Oh, yeah. Anyways, this is what that inspired the Mighty Mug Company to build a glass that was both unbreakable and unspillable. There was a lot of... Okay, that actually is quite impressive. But what's arguably yeah. more interesting is the fact that is when that... you then want to pick it up, you just... How does that work? Well, the material is Triton plastic, which is completely clear, but apparently as strong as stainless steel. And then the really interesting thing is this huh. base, which is effectively a specialised suction cup. It forms a well, rubber yeah, seal with the surface it's stuck on, reducing the air pressure I've under the cup, one. and therefore creating a strong downward pulling force. Alright, I've got my best selection of weapons, everything I'm going to need try hard enough. I mean, it could be Come on. better than another one. Oh my god, I'm whacking it! Do you try? Just try and smack huh. it. Literally, go for it. Just knock it. I don't think I've ever had a product that's so... <laughs> I mean, the cup's still fine. And then what happens when you lift it directly upwards yeah, is but that I mean, it has air that can detect this and then equalise that air pressure difference to remove the downward pulling force. Right. <laughs> now that you've got the idea of the video, there's probably no more literal example of thinking smart about a usually dumb concept than an actual smart mirror. The idea of a smart mirror is a very sci-fi concept, so I'm very curious what it's going to do. This I have a feeling it's going to use like augmented reality.
Wow, so, providing you can hide the cable, this is actually a really clean unit. Anyways, the way that a normal one-way mirror works is they tend to have a microscopically smooth layer of metal at the back and then a piece of glass on top of it, which is designed to just not interfere with the light coming to and from it. But for a smart mirror like this one, you need a two-way mirror design, which still has that metal, but instead of having a thick metal sheet at the back, it's more of a thin sheet that has some metallic elements at the front. And that's what allows you to see this 15 or so inch display that's on the bottom half of this mirror, while also being able to see my face. Oh, we have lights. Fun fact, this is why I mean, if you want to check whether a mirror is two-sided and you're being watched from the other particularly unique. Other side, you just put your finger on it. And if there's a gap yeah, between your fingernail and the reflected image, it's a normal mirror. But if there isn't, there's a good chance it's a two-way mirror and there is someone on the other side. Anyways, <laughs> now we've got the mirror part it sorted, let's see what the smart part means. Nice that it's a touchscreen. Wait, is that an app or? No way! If it's in the center, I'm gonna actually well. use it. It goes really well. Really the the end. resolution of our mirror. Really it's not the this. most responsive interface I've ever used, but it's a surprisingly clear image given that it's actually sitting behind a mirror. Oh, we got our Spotify working as well. Nice. Ah, oh, you can mirror your phone too. This is a really tough huh. one. Because I think it's such a cool piece of kit, and I love the idea of being fully connected while sitting in the bathroom. It's not but very. You could just take your phone and do things probably faster. This next thing, the stem player, is absolutely fascinating. So, it's a speaker, but you can probably already tell by the way it's presented, and the way the thing looks, that it's coming at it from a different angle. Funnily oh, yes, enough, yes. this thing is actually a collab between Carlo Computing, this really wacky company who creates these interesting life solutions with their products, like yeah. the flexible webcam and the DIY headphones, and then yeah, Kanye West, who I imagine based on his ridiculous shoe lineup, probably... <laughs> This design. Why does it feel like skin? But what this tiny, slightly gross thing allows you to do is to remix any song you play through it Why? on the fly in real time. It actually uses artificial in intelligence Washington. to break any track you put into it into four it parts or stems, like vocals, bass, drums, instrumentals, and then it gives you individual control over each of them. I have the LED lights on front. You just slide your finger on these pads and individual parts of the song will change. You can like speed up individual bits and loop certain parts of the track. So for example, this slider here is vocal, no. so if I drag that in, it gets rid of the vocals. Seeing that happen in real time is kind of crazy. It kind of feels like it's making me the conductor of an orchestra, and I can tell individual band members to quiet them down. Let's get rid of the instrumental track. And then when you're done listening, but there is one major catch. For this track splitting to work, you have to upload your music onto their site, oh. let it process it, then download it and put it onto the player. Which would be mean, fine back when everyone was storing their MP3s, but I haven't done that for about seven years. Because yes. my entire library is on it's Spotify, fine, which this does not support. Right, this one is about as low-tech as it gets. I mean, I was gonna say, to be fair, Probably wouldn't work with every single song. It's a plan part. But it's earned this place in this video thanks to a very clever bit of thinking. The idea comes from the fact that most people like plants in their home. But then, if you're in a London or New York City Thanks. apartment, you're paid for every square inch of that place, and you don't want to waste it. So, why not secure the soil with this collar, flip the whole thing upside down, and hang the plants from the far less valuable ceiling space? I know it sounds crazy, but there's actually very little downside. You can water from the base of the plant, and they've even built in a porous Wait, water an reservoir plant on top, which means that unlike a normal plant pot that you have to water every day, you only have to water this once every couple of weeks, and then depending on how wet the soil is at any given time, more or less of the water will flow in from that reservoir by diffusion. That's time to check our water tank. And really smart. And way too smart for a plant spot. I feel like I've just treated my bread to a like plant spa. That is a really slice of toast. Easy. This is a normal slice of toast from my normal peasant toaster. One of the most obvious differences is the evenness of the toasting. Healthy load of butter on each. Normal slice of toast. You can taste this very slight burnt flavour. The bread is kind of mildly crispy all the way through. Six out of ten. And now, this feels much crustier. Oh my god. I think you could have heard that crunch in the other room. It's a weird description, but you can really feel the, the structure of the bread. And that sound is something else. Nine out of ten. And a sub to the channel would be delectable. Yeah. Now we get onto the really cool stuff. Symbol, what the hell? So fundamentally, this, the C3 Rover, is a cooler. The same type of cooler that you buy to chuck a couple of beers in on a hot day. But this one 
He looks in the car, which actually brings with it a whole suite of other perks. It's trying to be the type of cooler that you'd want to host a party with. So, they made it remote controlled, so that instead of having to actually pass you a drink like That's some kind true. of Neanderthal, I can drive your drink to you. You can't drink and drive. You can't drive your drink. Plus, yeah, the range is 200 used. feet, which means you can barely be able to see it by the time you're using it. It's got LED headlights baked into it. This so is an the end of the night. Hand holders on either side. This isn't even sponsored by Huel. And it's also a 20 watt Bluetooth speaker. And it's actually surprisingly full sound, presumably because it's using this massive chamber inside to be able to push out more air. Like, yes, see if Milo wants to party. But when you put a yeah. cooler on like a big... Oh. This is not bleeding edge tech, don't get me wrong. That, but it is a really clever way to tie in lots of things that you would naturally want to have together anyway. But this thing is a genuine marvel. We've seen a speaker on a car and a speaker that can remix on the fly, but we've probably never seen a speaker made out of lightning. This is the Tesla Music Coil. And I just want to be very clear here, this is going to play music but there's no physical speaker here. The music is going to come from the sparks that this box generates. Oh my gosh. So right now, what this is doing is creating an extremely high voltage. So high that electrons are just starting to fly off this tip, creating plasma, or what looks to you like lightning. But that plasma is causing vibrations in the air, and therefore this horrifying sound. Does not feel safe. You can actually turn yeah, it around using this slider here. Oh like my god! Yeah, it feel safe. But this is where it gets insane. You can flip this tab here to turn it into music mode, which allows it to pair to my phone via Bluetooth, and then when I play a song, it will try to recreate that track using plasma as the instrument. Here goes nothing. No way. Ha ha! It works. the coolest thing. I've seen my entire life. 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 i have Oh, you know what else thinks different? The Rhino Shield Solid Suit phone case. Of course, it's a sponsor. I am a big fan. Sorry, I'm not being here. Those were nine gadgets that think different. Personal favorite would probably be. Hmm. Which I really like the remixable speakers. Those are quite good. Other than that, the mirror that. Uh, like cool in design, not cool in real life, probably. Other than that, I mean, the other ones are mainly futuristic looking. But anyway, quite good video.